Hey guys, it's Kugle again with another ROM review and this time I've got Cyanogen Mod 11, the official nightly. Yes, the official version has now been uh, rolled out for Galaxy S3, the international version and it is a nightly version. That means it's not yet stable. Uh, the stable version has not been outed yet but we have a array of nightly versions and this one is actually based on the uh, Cyanogen, uh, the Android 4.4.1 that is the latest one I guess the 4.4.2 has been released and uh, they are making it to the sources source codes so let's get into it uh, here is the lock screen which is the um, sliding for widget lock screen the typical Android 4.4 lock screen now you can see it does have the 8 way um, circle uh, launcher in the lock screen so you do have the options to change those now we have the Google experience launcher which is the same launcher for other also now uh, I have been previously using uh, Temasix and official CM11 as the daily driver so I will be making a few comparison with that when this the most obvious one is that as an official and this is official one and uh, Temasix an official one has a lot more features than this one because it is a canked version that means he has a lot of he has cherry picked a lot of gits and uh, has included um, active display halo etc into his rom so this one doesn't have all that but this one has the update feature that's one of the best feature um, to go with uh, on cyanogen mod kind of like the omni rom also uh, the omni rom and cyanogen mod these both roms now have the um, update feature that downloads the update package and it flashes automatically you can just have to click flash and it flashes automatically I guess you do need um, some kind of alternative uh, recovery rather than clockwork mod uh, I am using Phil's recovery it works pretty good um, it also works with TWRP uh, team in recovery project so that's something awesome also now let's go to settings and show you guys the uh, about phone page here is the about phone page uh, it is based on 4.4.1 that is the latest and greatest now uh, 4.4.2 will be coming out I guess possibly in the next nightly or the one after that 4.4.2 will be the norm this is nightly version 11.12 this is 12 I mean um, in my area the date is a bit advanced so yeah that happens um, so uh, that's it in the about phone page nothing more this is a uh, sign of an update you can choose what all it should include check for update weekly nightly twice daily whatever you can check it now uh, it has update types you can have new versions including nightly or just stable only stable version is not available now so you have to use nightlies for now if you want the official one of course um, the other one now if you have been using a Temasek's unofficial one, you will know, first thing you will notice is the layout is really different. Um, it's not, the personal session settings is not there. Um, th there has a lot of other features also in Temasek's one. Let's get into this one. Uh, first one is the lock screen which I showed you guys. So you have Maximize Widget, Clock clock Widget that is the C clock that is Cronus. You do have that from the previous round. So, uh, that's nothing new but it is now available in this one so that's pretty cool widget pager you have to enable these to have the uh, widgets available uh, extra widgets when you swipe uh, to the left to the right and in the left side you will have um, the widgets on the lock screen so you have that uh, quick unlock is for pin and password as soon as you enter the pin and password you can just uh, without clicking ok or enter you can uh, get into the phone that's uh, available in other ROMs also like the previous 10.1 10.2 ROMs also but nothing nothing serious or something so yeah I just wanted to throw that out there um, it has messaging service something to notice uh, slider shortcut this is where you can select all these you have four short uh, one two three four five I mean four customizable shortcuts you can select what you want there so that's um, now improved what else theming feature from the uh, older Cyanogen mod you have all the options to use new themes whatever pretty awesome interface has the all the other tweaks also now you have status bar in status bar only 
option available is the battery style just style you have icon circle circle with percentage or hidden I prefer icon because well, it's normal uh, Kit Kat style so that's why quick setting panel is now fully revamped you have all these options available you have quick pull down right or left or no quick pull down auto close panel when you select after toggling a tile tiles and layout you have a bunch of them uh, including all of these camera camera is one of my favorite because it gives you a uh, anonymous camera clipping uh, ability so that's pretty awesome um, so yeah you have um, tiles and layout options available what else sound mode uh, network mode screen timeout mode etc these are all available from the uh, previous versions of Android uh, Sanjian mod, but uh, now it is also available in this one, so that makes it pretty cool. Navigation drawer, okay. You have um, quick access ribbons, which are these. This display the uh, quick setting panel here, also, if you are into that kind of stuff. Auto close behavior, you can have this. Now you have extended desktop that is uh, without the status bar. If you want to use that, you can, so that works pretty good. Let me see extended desktop so you don't have that again you have to swipe down for that but that auto closes so that's pretty cool uh, what else other settings are similar to the uh, other size uh, any other ROM like the Omni ROM even uh, most of the others are uh, AOSP settings so you have all that in about phone you can enable uh, developer mode and uh, tinker with that art mode is actually working uh, pretty good uh, everything is kind of uh, working every app now supports ART that is Android runtime so that's um, a great way to use uh, it is noticeably faster I won't say it is fast beyond imagination no it is noticeably faster and uh, yeah if you can afford to use ART do it uh, I guess exposed won't work with ART runtime that's the only gripe right now but uh, other than that it's a okay so yeah I guess Cyanogen mod doesn't have much now okay that is it about it it does have whisper push which is their own proprietary um, safe SMS encryption service so you can enable that and that has been pushed with this one that's pretty cool it does have that option also so yeah uh, one more thing I would like to say is that um, the camera I found it to be a bit slow as in it takes photo yes now I can take the other photo but it is a bit slower than what I would have expected um, I just noticed that recently because I needed to use the camera for a um, few reasons but um, yeah uh, nothing too much of a gripe or something but yeah it is a bit slow I guess there is a fix you can flash the camera app uh, there is a file for that I might be might be able to include the link in the description uh, so yeah that is uh, there yeah um, I guess that much is it let me show you guys the boot animation which is awesome it has been changed let me show you guys so here is the new boot animation for Cyanogen Mod 11 uh, out of the out of all the boot animations yet from official Cyanogen Mod this is my favorite one because it's minimal it doesn't have a lot of flash it's it says what it is it doesn't give you a number that's something which I truly appreciate uh, the previous versions had like um, apart from the 10 version uh, the other ones had like the number uh, uh, the CM9 CM11 the Temasics version has CM11 but this one is just cyanogen mod with the cyanogen mod guy and an arrow <laughs> circling it so that's really neat I would say neat okay so yeah I guess that much is it about the ROM I uh, hope you guys like the video please subscribe like and share if you really like it so uh, see you guys next time bye